Nintendo, founded in Japan, is one of the most known gaming titans of the world. One thing we know, however, is that they have been recently criticized for their numerous scandals and controversies, from sending cease and desists, promoting limited run games, pushing microtransactions, their child labor scandal with the Wii U, the annoying Joy-Con drift issue, among countless others. How can a company as loved as Nintendo have so many scandals? I mean, they are the company that created beloved games such as the best-selling Animal Crossing New Horizons, scenic open-world adaptations of classic games such as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, cult classics and lovable games such as their Pokemon series, which is arguably one of the most played game series worldwide with a card series to match, as well as heavily played party games such as the Super Smash Bros. series, which plays a role both in Family Nights as well as in the competitive fighting game scene. But Super Smash Bros. has recently been one of the largest points of controversy, where a lot of amateur and competitive players alike have joined arms against Nintendo and the actions they took in late 2020. Although the game was released in 2001 on the GameCube, Super Smash Bros. Melee still has a strong fan base with a bunch of tournaments happening yearly to celebrate the game, as well as show off the best of the best. But as you can expect, during the COVID-19 pandemic, competitive play has shifted to online, which drew massive backlash from Nintendo itself. The Big House is an annual Smash tournament, and although the pandemic prevented people from playing in person, they wanted to continue the tradition and host it online, meaning players had to use emulators in order to compete. Nintendo was against this, and so they sent a cease and desist in order to cancel the tournament. Slippy.gg is a mod that basically allows the game to be played online through integrated online matchmaking, through the Dolphin emulator, not the game itself. The main purpose of Slippy is to bring Melee into a space where it can be played online and no longer require LAN, GameCube connections to be able to play and enjoy the game. Nintendo faced harsh backlash about their decision, which they argued was based around the piracy of their intellectual property. But of course, as many people argue, there is no other way to safely participate in tournaments given the pandemic, their public response was criticized. Super Smash Bros. Melee has a large fan base, and immediately after the release of their statement, Nintendo was bombarded with hashtag free Melee from competitive players to the average fan of the game. Emulation in and of itself is not an illegal act, and numerous players cited how they were using their own purchased copies of the game. They cancelled the only tournament the community had seen in months and any events going forward. In response to the cancellation of the Melee tournament, several teams in Splatoon changed their names to show support for free Melee. The day before the finals of the event, Nintendo cancelled their official livestream of the tournament, stating it was because of quote-unquote executional changes. The outrage that people felt was drastic, with lots of people tweeting out their frustrations with the way Nintendo was treating and silencing its fans instead of improving gameplay of the few games people could play online. So what was your reaction the first time you heard about Nintendo sending a cease and desist to Big House about their tournament? That made me... it made me pretty mad because it just shows that Nintendo not only doesn't care about the people who love their games, but they actively want to destroy that community of people who are rabid supporters of their games. Did Nintendo's reaction in any way change the way you view Nintendo as a company? I used to love Nintendo games as a kid. I didn't really know much about actual Nintendo, but they've been doing this kind of shady stuff um, for years with Melee, and then again with Brawl and Smash 4, where they send cease and desist to tournaments, um, especially at EVO. Um, they tried to keep Melee out of EVO, and I think it was 2014, but they raised enough money for charity that they got let in anyway. But Nintendo's always been kind of scummy when it comes to the Smash community, so no, my opinion isn't changed of them at all. So the big question is, how is Melee doing now? There are actually a bunch of tournaments scheduled. In order to get around Nintendo, most of the tournaments are self-sponsored and endorsed, not relying on outsourcing sponsorships, which is one of the reasons people speculate as to why the Big House tournament was actually cancelled. The cash prize comes directly from the entry fees to the tournament, and although they use emulators and Slippy, Nintendo has mainly left them alone. The Four Loco tournament in March of 2021 is proof of that. Hundreds of thousands of viewers flock to watch some of the biggest names in Melee take part in the largest tournament in a while, with over 500 players signed up. So was it really Slippy all along? Wouldn't Nintendo have cancelled all of these tournaments if that was the main reason for their response to the Big House tournament? No matter what, it does not seem like Slippy is going anywhere for now. Overall, Nintendo faced really harsh backlash in response to their actions taken against the Big House tournament, as well as their attitude towards those supporting the Free Melee movement. Although it seems like it should be smooth sailing from here, the question is if these self-sponsored tournaments will be sustainable for as long as we need them to. We see the big players always coming out on top, 
so there is a fear that smaller players will not participate in online tournaments as much if they are constantly losing money and gaining very little. But that is a topic for another day.